There's something else that's just caught my eye. Execution chamber. Should yeah. we take a look? Go on then. What have we got installed today then, Kurt? This was an off the bat yeah. idea, wasn't it? We sat it? in the car, didn't we? We sat in the car thinking, what do we do? Yeah. So we're now off to Shrewsbury Prison. We are. We're going to go and get locked up in prison, the two of us. <laughs> we're going to take you for a little tour around Shrewsbury Prison, the Danner. Um, and which way do we go, Kurt? I think it's down this way. Okay. And here we are, Shrewsbury Prison. Should we go and see if we uh, are allowed to in. go in? Yeah. Go on then, Kurt, start your sentence. <laughs> 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 We've never been here before, have we? No. <laughs> Good job. I'd like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, you're here, okay? Go up to the top, do a left and a left, so you dog round round to reception. That's where the prisoners would have started their journey. Okay. okay. And then basically just follow the sound. Brilliant, thank you very much, thank you. I tell you what, even going through that first door, you notice that all of the doors are really thick. Wow. So this is the admin area of the prison. This is where you would get booked in. Yeah. Be searched. You'd be searched in there. Wow, you don't really get a huge amount of privacy, do you? You just get literally your waist that's kind of covered. Yeah. Everyone could see you uh, bending over and coughing. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, it yeah. would be, yeah, bend over, cough. Wow. This is a really bleak example of a British prison. Yeah. Right, should we go to a different area? So this would be the this would, this would be booking in, wouldn't it? This would be booking in, making sure Searched. you've got, yeah, making sure you've got nothing up your, your rear end. Yeah. Showered yeah. and changed. Get changed into your scrubs. Yeah, well, so I presume we go on to a wing. You'll be the, the prison sat nav. Well, I actually don't know where we are at the moment. <laughs> Apologies about the flickering, guys, with the lights. Here you are, Kurt. Kurt, a wing. So this is where they were thinking about committing suicide. That yeah. Be washed. Yeah. Oh wow, so we are actually on a proper wing now because you've got pool table, you've got a tennis table. So this is inside a proper cell, Kurt. Oh my God. Yeah, now this really does feel bleak. And the little flicker of daylight with the bars. It's not as if you could get what, what a really crappy bed. And I reckon that would be a the type of mattress you'd get. This wouldn't have been one of Britain's best prisons, would it, to come to? How does it feel sitting down there? What? This would be horrible. Yeah. This would be horrible. I, I would uh, love to have a go lying down as well, but I'm not going to, looking at the state of that mattress. <laughs> <laughs> so kudos to you, my friend, you yeah. are very brave. If this was your first experience of prison, if you'd never been inside before, and you come to this as your first home. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I know A-Wing a was the suicide watch. Looking at this kind of conditions, it's not surprising. No. Because this is a really bleak and depressing place to be. Hang on, what's this here? Joe loves Andy. Andy's Nan. <laughs> Andy's Nan. Like Andy's Nan. <laughs> <laughs> There's no heating or nothing and it's cold, isn't it? It is freezing. It's freezing cold in here and I'm very glad that I've kept this jacket on because I would have been very cold. Wow. Right, should we have a look elsewhere? Yeah. Can't wait. Kurt's seen something that's taken his interest. Oh, yeah, oh table tennis. You want to game a little ping pong? Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's table tennis, isn't it? Table tennis, ping pong. Well, ping pong to the Japanese, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to struggle with that size bat. Let's have a look. Wow. So would that be like if, you're, if you've been punished? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you've misbehaved yourself in the weekend. You'd have to really try and get hold of the ball with that. You would, ball, wouldn't you? Jeez. Wow. Well, maybe that's for the prisoners with small hands. <laughs> oh, there's something else that's just caught my eye. Execution chamber. Should we take a look? Go on then. 
Wow, well, there's a bit of a, a strange smell in here. And it said five prisoners were hanged in one day for burglary. Wow. Seems a bit harsh to be hanged for burglary, doesn't it? Oh my God. And there it is. Who's that? Move. I'm sorry. Could you, no, could you just say, do you have a bottle there? Move the bathroom in it. Wow. Look at that. I'll just read that. Yeah. Look outside the prison on the day of the country's last ex execution. In 1961. So they used, they did that, use That's quite fire. recent. Yeah. 1961. Yeah. That's the entrance you walk through, guys. And that is a picture of people outside. And they did used to hang them outside. Really? Yeah. They did used to hang people outside. Wow. And you know what's a real shame? That's that chap's last day, and they couldn't even give him a clean shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking now. I, I think this might be just to show you and stop you touching the dummies. Yes, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just spotted a picture which I think is how they really did it. I think it would drop through the floor. Wow. Yes. And what's, what's in here? It looks like this is the last rites. This is where you stayed. Well, this, this, would, this would have been where they stayed, wouldn't it? Before. This would have been the room that and they stayed in. And then over to there to... Wow. Wow, how horrible. Can you imagine staying in there on the night of your execution Hopefully, I'm hoping these windows weren't here. Yeah, because you would. Because you'd be looking at your fate for the last 24 hours of your life. That's weird. And I know people have committed crimes and stuff, but that's Heinous would be crimes, awful. but that would be awful, yeah. So you guess you'd find the weight and. Oh, yeah. And, that's, and that is, is that how far they would drop? Yeah. Yeah. Because there it is again. Like, so obviously, the, they would take the boards away. Yeah. Obviously, you pull that and the boards would come down. And... Wow. It's a bit of Shrewsbury's dark past there, isn't it? Should we carry on, mate? And this is Sea Wing. So this is Sea Wing. This is... This the women's, is where the women would be. Right, this is the women's wing. Should we have a look at their cells? See what yeah. kind of uh, digs the women had? Wow. wow. Poor. What is that smell? It's the mould. That's mould and damp. It would be like this. Wow, this is like a very, um, the best way to describe this room is, is wet. <coughs> very wet. And this, uh, this would be awesome. You wouldn't get people coming in, cleaning the walls. So this, this, is, this is what it would have been like, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a bit of chesty, this one. Uh, oh, that stinks. does stink, doesn't it? Right. Big red button. Don't press it. <laughs> I wonder what it does. I presume that would be just... It's, can't, it's not, obviously, it's not, it's not connected anymore. No, that'd be, I suppose, if you've got a panic or something in, in yeah. the cell. And that would be the light, light for the cell. Do you want to press it? No. I don't, no, I don't. Because I think it would go off. Shall I press it? Because <laughs> <laughs> we might get locked in here. No, don't press it. Don't. so much inclined, you could have a guided tour at the prison. <laughs> but we're poor YouTubers, we couldn't afford that. No, no we've gone for the cheap. We've gone for the pauper's option. Yeah. Hey, fancy game of foosball? Yeah. Now, is there a ball? No. No. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? That would be really horrible. So we've found a pool table with no cues. <laughs> And a foosball table, no ball. And a uh, table tennis bat that oh, yeah. <laughs> couldn't bat the table tennis ball. The ultimate torture. So this would be where people would visit. Ah, this is the visiting room, is it? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. I'll tell you what, every prisoner's got quite a few visitors, three at a time. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. well. We seem to be going to all the interesting places first because the guided tour is following us. Yeah, look at that. That would be one of them windows where you would sit and the, obviously, you know, you sit here and... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Shall I go the other side? Can I go the other side? Obviously, the 
hang on, right, you stay there. Yeah. I'll be back, okay. all right? Oh, my love, it's been too long. It's been too long. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can, actually, yeah, it's like a speaker system. Can you hear me? <laughs> See you again. See you in six months. <laughs> Reunited at last. <laughs> oh, I'm free. You're free. Right, where else should we go? And this. This is the chapel. It's a smell as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a prison of many smells, isn't it? Right, give us a sermon. Thank you all for coming today. Obviously, you've realised by now that you're never going to get out and you're stuck. There is porridge served at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, then we shall use it to put the posters up on the wall. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. That was very good. High five for that. That was very good. Very impressive. Yeah. It's not very churchy, is it? You... No. Pete, this... Obviously, a church no. is a place to come and get, gather your thoughts and yeah. regrets. And a stuff. peaceful place. Yeah. I smell food. I can smell food, I can smell yeah. Porridge. And I think on the smell, that, that calls for time, yeah. doesn't it? Right, let's get, let's get to the queue quick because we don't want to be waiting behind the whole thing. Oh, well, the smell's definitely changed now, hasn't it? it is. What would you recommend? What would be your classic traditional prison meal? Prison meals, they would have here, they would have seven different options um, every single meal. Okay. So they would have everything from lasagna through to steak, through the fish and chips. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Would that yeah. be like a special day? Friday steak day? Just, no, they would have pizzas. They have pretty much whatever you would have normally is what they would have in modern prison systems. You would have seven different meals to choose from. Um, you have to uh, do it in advance. So you're normally choosing 12 days in advance. So you so get you your would, choice? Yeah, so on a Thursday, you would get your, your list of food from the week after, which starts on a Monday. Yeah. So on the Thursday, you would make your choice for the, next, the entire next week. Um, and you would choose what you want for lunch and for dinner. Um, and then that will get processed. So you could just say, Monday I'm going to have pizza, Tuesday I'm going to have lasagna, yeah. Wednesday I'm going to have shepherd's pie, Thursday I'm going to have steak, Friday I'm going to have fish, wow. Saturday I'm going to have this. Sounds quite comfortable, don't you think? Yeah. 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 But what would you recommend today, as in what's offer Are for myself? Are you eating, eating? Uh, maybe just a light snack, possibly. Bacon bap, sausage baps, really mm. pleasant. Oh, okay. Bacon bap, sausage baps. Can you, yeah, could, you, could you have a bacon and a sausage bap? I'm sure I can, yeah, make that work. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for bacon and sausage bap. And I'm going to have a chocolate potato. Sausage and bacon. So, Kurt, tell me, what's your uh, thoughts been on the prison so far? We've done about, what, three quarters of the tour? Mm. Tell me what your thoughts are. I certainly wouldn't like to stay here. No. <laughs> I would not like to, no. to be incarcerated. I think that statement's unanimous. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to get... Cheers, mate, thanks. Yeah, it's definitely a very bleak place to be, isn't it? Mm. It's not... Uh, I mean, obviously, prison's never going to be a pleasant place to be, but um, I am actually quite surprised that this, this particular prison was closed in 2013, yeah. and the fixtures and fittings are all very bleak. Yeah, they're very old, aren't they? Very old, and you, I mean, I would probably go with what you originally said, because you thought it was the 80s, didn't you? Yeah. But, um, yeah, looking at the fixtures and fittings, I would have thought it was the 80s as well, but yeah. 2013, apparently. HMP Shrewsbury was recognised for having the best prison food in other country. Whoa. I mean, what a contrast from their accommodation, which is very bleak, to, to, to the... To steak. The, to steak. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? Can you believe that they used to cook steak for the prisoners here? Steak and lasagna, pizza. Steak, lasagna, pizza, chips. Mm. All of the luxuries you would get outside prison. I wonder if you could order a takeaway. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I, I bet you they have. You reckon? I bet you, yeah. Like when, when, when your partner comes to visit, oh, by the way, on Thursday, about seven o'clock, yeah. can you uh, get me a pizza? Sorry you through the cell door. Yeah. This morning when I picked you up, I didn't think we'd be in a prison. No. <laughs> <laughs> that bacon and sausage bap has properly refueled me now mm. to go and do the last leg of our tour. I'm going to let Kit, Kurt finish his uh, jack potato and cheese, and we'll see you when we're on the next part. See you in a minute. Jesus Christ, that scared me as well, actually. <laughs> okay. One thing I have noticed, all the dummies haven't got a head. Well, that'd be what they would wear, wouldn't it? Yeah. Why, why haven't they got a, f a head? 
Oh, <laughs> God. That's realistic. Oh, there's the other bat. This is like, is, do you think this is more of an example of what it would have really been like furnished? Yeah, yeah. And I think this would be modern day, wouldn't it? But I don't think it would be like his bed, surely. Well, they, they seem pretty solid to me. Oh, that is, that is not nice. That is a really small space to sleep as well. Yeah. And someone's done a bit of a doo-doo on there as well. Oh dear. Watch it collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, that, be like that scene in Step Brothers, you've seen that. <laughs> this is not very comfortable at all. Would you get a pillow? I think you'd get a pillow, yeah. And look at the telly. It's cold. Of course, the latest blockbusters on there. Wow. So this, I reckon this is like a privileged room. You think this is good behaviour room? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Definitely. Because you've got a telly, you've got... Wooden a... bed. Yeah. You've got... Place to sit and have your bacon and sausage yeah, sandwich. And a cupboard. So I reckon this would be a good person's room. Not massively incentivizing me to behave well though, to come in here. <laughs> no, especially with that toilet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got another table here, mate. Might find a ball in this table, maybe. Any luck? It would be there, but no ball. It's just turned into like a quite a torturous prison. It is, yeah. I, you know, all amusement games have got nothing to play them with. <laughs> <laughs> You're wandering around all day, bored out your skull. But there'd be some. I reckon that somebody would sell these balls. You somebody, reckon somebody would nick the balls? Yeah. And then some head the, honcho in the prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. Full of balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bigger, bigger ten, yeah. table tennis bats. Two fags for a ball. Yeah, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Two yeah. fags for a ball. Yeah. And you break like, to a big bat. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have like a big overcoat. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, you want some, do you? Yeah. <laughs> give me your pudding yeah. and I'll give you a bat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Or, you know, give me a bar of soap and you can have this ball. Yeah, right? yeah. Wow, I've just spotted somebody that's famous. Ricky Tomlinson. He was here, was he? Wow. Really? There you go. Wow. Ricky Tomlinson for sabotage and vandalism on a picket yeah. line in Shrewsbury. Yeah. Before becoming the best I've had to in Brookside, Jailed for his part in a strike in 1972. He got two years for sabotaging and vandalising on a picket line. Wow. He must have been some serious vandal in his day. Two years sentence. What's we got? 13 years there. Great train robbery. Yeah, Robert Welsh. And this would have been the traditional officer's dress uniform. Look at that coat. Quite good to see a, a dummy with a head. Yeah, and I, I, I'm sure they wouldn't have these false eyelashes like that as well. That's, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. George Riley. He was executed here. So this, was, this would have been the last guy to have been executed. This would have been the last, yeah. The last guy that was hung. Yeah. Murdered his neighbour. Wow. I'm sure there's a few people out there that would probably do the same. <laughs> yes, definitely. Just going into the governor's office now. This is certainly a lot more comfortable, isn't it, Kurt? Do you feel important? I do. Hello. Yes, bring him in. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the only person to ever escape from here was called what? Walter Groom. Walter Groom. So the one person has only ever escaped from this prison. It was two. Walter was successful. Yeah. He climbed up. He climbed into the the tunnels. The Victorian tunnel system, wasn't yeah. it? and got outside and then climbed over the wall. Yeah. And he's got a book out called Over the Wall. Over the Wall, yeah. And there was a second person that climbed over the wall. Yeah. And felt guilty about breaking out. He knocked on the door down the road. And told someone he just broke out. Yeah, and they <laughs> took him back in. <laughs> All that effort to try and break out. And you would think, with him being such an honest guy, you would think they'd say, go on, mate, off you go. But it depends what he does. Depends what he does. Yeah. Could have murdered somebody. Could have. So Walter Groom, the only person to ever successfully attempt an escape from here. Okay, and we eventually escaped. We got out. We got out. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting little walk around at Shrewsbury Prison, the Danner. But uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. I don't know if I'll be with Kurt, my dad, who knows where I'll be next. But it's a pleasure to have you with us. And I'm going to be doing plenty more videos in the future with Kurt. 
And I don't know where we're going to be next. Where are we going to be next? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows where we're going to turn up? <laughs> but hopefully you'll join us. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.